Hey guys, Malkuth 1974 coming at you another episode. I know it's been a long time since I have done any videos, but that is okay. Actually, it's been a long time since I've done a video with my voice in it. Uh, changes in the situation at the house where I do not really have a quiet atmosphere anymore to actually do videos has made it quite difficult to do videos, but tonight I'm finding a time to actually put a video together. It's probably one of the only nights I can actually do it, which is Thursday night. So, actually, what are we going to do today? Today we are going to cover some Mission Controller Extended missions. This time we're going to actually show you how to do a repair mission. Now, you get repair missions from your contract. So, we'll do this again. If you guys are wondering, you just go up here to the little icon up here. It looks like a piece of paper. You click on it, it says available contracts, and you click on the contracts, and you should have a list of different offers from different companies of something they want you to do. And we just happen to have a repair contract in here, so if I click on it, it'll give us all the inf information I need. Repair contract, uh, the company that's doing it is Kerman Orbital Science Company, or Co., uh, one of our sat satellites has gone dark. We would like you to accept this contract to go and repair the satellite. This is the important part. A lot of things have changed. It's 0.62. We actually, I just released 0.65 of Mission Controller today, but since 0.6, actually 0.60 or 62, it was one of those, um, we've added the vessel name to repair. And what this will do is uh, Mission Controller will look for any vessel that has the uh, repair part on it and actually make a list of them and randomly select them for you in these repair contracts. So right now uh, I have a vessel called the Low Altitude Terrain Mapping Satellite Number 1. The Unloaded actually is what the actual name of the vessel is that Kerbal Space Program assigns to unloaded vessels. It adds that unloaded part to it. It's not a big deal. The actual name is the Low Altitude Terrain Mapping Sat Number 1. And it tells us that this current contract will pay 182,000. Uh, science reward. This company will give us five science points. I am playing a career game, so we can do that. And basically, what you have to do is you have to fly up, intercept the satellite, dock with it, uh, put some repair parts onto the vessel, go EVA with your, uh, your Kerbal and then repair it and we'll go over that some more a little bit later so right now I'm just going to accept this so I'm going to accept use the accept button that's right next to it and now it's loaded into our contracts now we've got to remember that it's called the low altitude terrain mapping satellite so I want to go find out where that is I have quite a bit of uh, satellites up in this game let's see we can get rid of the Kerbal Alarm Clock. Oh, let's only do this. 14. That's not actually it, is it? No. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Low Altitude Terrain Mapping Satellite. So it's actually at a pretty low altitude. It's only at... 104 so that would actually be a pretty good intercept for that particular satellite so let's get out of here so the first thing you need to do is actually have to have a vessel that will actually repair your satellite for you go up here I actually do have one that I do have set up where is it go to here we'll do this one it's not very pretty, but it gets the job done. So I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just a basic ship. It only needs one person on it. You only need to have one Kerbal to actually do uh, the repairs. And if you noticed, it's got a docking port. Now, I made all my satellites have the same exact docking port. But now that uh, 23.5 is out, you could actually use... Uh, the advanced grappling unit to pretty much attach to any satellite you want so you wouldn't have to actually have 
uh, a docking port on it if you don't want. I also have these little parts on here, and these are actually... Let's see if I can find them... What are they at? Actually, I think they're under this. Why can I find it? Oh. Well, these are the, the mission controller repair panels. These actually have to be on the satellites for uh, mission controller to actually be able to find them and uh, assign them to your uh, actual mission. But what we want is to find this. And it should be right here. I don't know why I can't. Alright, so this is getting a little goofy here. Oh, it's actually... I see I knew it was in here. Uh, so there it is. It's the repair can small. And what these have in it, they have a, uh, a resource called repair parts in it. And each can has three of them. And you put them, you can put them, you put them, you know, you got to make it symmetrical. So you put them side to side to balance out the vessel. And you only need a few repair parts, actually, I think one for each uh, satellite. But sometimes it's good to have, you know, to bring a few up there just in case you got you want to leave the vessel up there for it can do more repair missions later on. So we'll get this guy out of here. Let me find my staging here. Alright, so there we go. So we got all that covered. We got our stuff on there. And we can launch away. Now we definitely want to intercept this guy, so we would have to find out where he is. He's one of these guys. Station life support. Low there he is, number one. Set as target. And we are actually I can see us we're right there. He's almost actually there, so we'll just time accelerate a little bit. Wait till he gets right at the, I usually wait till he gets to the tip right there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But oh well. So, we'll watch Jebediah Kerman going on up to... Yeah, don't push EVA. Jesus. We'll do a little time acceleration before we can uh, hurry this video up. So I'll get up in space and get an intercept. You guys can watch.
All right, guys, I have intercepted it. Nice launch to intercept. Did it real quick. I'm gonna get, try to get on top. Let me see if I get my RCS set straight here. find a docking port on this thing. Let's turn some lights on. Let's bright her up. There's a docking port right there. We can bring ourselves up a little bit. There we go. Trying to come up on him. Slow us down a little bit. connected so there we go now I'm connected to the satellite now next what we want to do is actually want to transfer repair parts to the actual uh, mission control repair panel and it takes one part you can tell down here it says repair parts it's got zero of one so we we just click uh, click on it like we're going to transfer so you right click on one of the repair cans you hold the alt button and then you right click on the mission control repair panel and then you just push in and it'll start transferring the repair parts it takes a few seconds i made it slow on purpose just to make you know like this is a a, a tidy uh, a timely process and delicate that has to be uh handled with care and there you go so once the part is actually transferred and you're ready to go we can EVA our Kerbal. Actually, we should probably bring up the actual contract, right? So, the docking part actually done. We just docked, so we, uh, we did, we did the docking. Uh, one of the big changes was is that you have to dock with the vessel that is actually, uh, shown. You can't, like, in the older versions of Mission Control, you can dock with any vessel and get away with it. Now, we're actually looking for this particular vessel and the mission is actually checking for that so that has passed so far now all we have left is a to do the actual repair so we just have to EVA a Kerbal he can go EVA just like that he can fall on his head I wonder if I can get him to get onto this nope all right can he grab no Alright, so this is a new satellite that I made, so I'm not quite used to it. I didn't think I had to even... There we go. Usually when I make my satellites for repair missions, I make a thing for... Uh, they can definitely grab onto it. It helps out a little bit. Now you need to stay up there. So just right click on it, and if you're close enough, you can just say start repairs. And that is it. Hide to finish mission goal. Uh, the contract payment comes out, uh, the finished mission comes out, and you just hit finish mission. We get the payment in there, and the mission is done. And that is all there is to a repair mission. All you need to do now is get your guy back onto, well, there you go, back into a ship, send him home, and you're all set to go. So, that's it. That's all you got to do. It's quite fun. It's quite fun to actually intercept one of these things and set them up. Now, the only way you actually, remember, the only way you'll actually get the missions is if you actually have satellites in the sky that have a repair part on them. And you get most of these missions from 
when you do contract missions, you'll get uh, satellite missions. So, and one of the prerequisites for these types of missions, if it was up here, we can't see it right now. Actually, I can make it actually show up by my little uh, cheat sheet I have here. So right here, we got launch a satellite into low orbit, low orbit. As you can tell, uh, it's asking for a part, which is the mission control repair part. And for the new update, I took out the um, the requirement to have uh, a docking port. Now that they have the actual um, the arm thing to capture, so you don't you don't have to have the docking port anymore. And that's how you get the actual satellites in there. And it's you got them in the contracts, and you got them in the actual some of the actual regular missions too have them too, uh, like in random missions or. Or whatnot. Mostly the satellite missions. We can find them in there. So that's it for now, guys. This is Nautilus 1974. Download Mission Control or have an economy for your Kerbal Space Program. Have fun out there. This is Nautilus. Out.